Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. We have theorem number 19 for our discussion for today. And theorem 19 being tangents to a circle at a common point are congruent. Take note, we have tangents. Meaning we should have multiple figures or multiple tangents in our circle that will intersect at a common point which is of course outside of our circle. So say we have this circle, um, O, yeah, let's say circle O, okay? And then we have these two tangents, lines A, B, and tangent line C, B, and they are tangent at point A and point C, having the common um, intersection point or common point outside the circle being B. <clears throat> okay, B, sorry. And the thing about this theorem is just, you are just saying that they are congruent. Meaning, if this is 6, then this is 6. That's it. If you would see any figure, or the implications of this one is that if you would see any circle that will have tangent lines that intersects outside the circle, then the measure of those segments, okay, from the common point up until the point of tangency, this is the common point, common point, and this is the point of tangency, okay. The implication of this one is that they are always congruent. CA is congruent to CB. That would be it, okay. So let's prove that, our notion um, on GeoGebra and proving by example. Then again, I do not suggest this one, okay? So we have this given figure. And then, um, what we need to do is, of course, we have our structure and uh, you have tangents. And you have, of course, this point outside, na common point nila. Therefore, we can say that these two lines, CD, is congruent to BD. And of course, it's very obvious. It's BD is uh, 2.66 and CD is 2.66. And even if you will try to move this, they would always be congruent. You notice 10.2, 10.2, kahit malayo pa yan, it's 17.29 and so on. Okay, and I think uh, they are they would only be up until na hindi sila parallel lines. Okay, so yan. And even if they would go closer and closer to each other, they would still have the same measurement. Okay, and that would be a special property netong tangent lines that intersects on a circle. Okay, that they would always be congruent. And I think I cannot put this uh, in any um, more difficult interpretation or complex interpretation. Ganto na yan eh. It's like this. Okay, and uh, the thing about this one is you will only have two tangent lines. You cannot have multiple tangent lines. Okay. Two tangent lines only on this given theorem. Okay, nothing more, nothing less. So that would be it. Very easy. Okay. So if you would have any other questions, um, uh, maybe maybe I have a qu um. The the question on this one is say what if you don't know this one? That's it. If you don't know this one, then of course this is three point fifty two. Is that it? No more solving. Okay. So I think that would be probably your question. So, anyways, um, thank you for listening, everyone. If you had any other questions, view the video again. Or, of course, um, chat me in our group. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.